if you want to achieve your goals don't focus on them sounds crazy right well it certainly sounded crazy to me when i first heard about this concept in this ted talk back in 2013 in his famous ted talk reggie rivers talks about this concept about you whatever goal it is that you want to achieve is beyond your control and the only thing which is in your control is your behavior so focusing on your goals rarely helps instead you should be focusing on your behavior so in this episode let's take this further and talk about some of the behavior changes that we need to make in order to achieve our goals hi and welcome back to another episode of up it and the actionable podcast in case we haven't already met my name is peeden If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon that way you can get notified every time we bring you weekly coaching tips that can help you move toward your life goals. And with that, let's get into this episode. While I was working in my job in advertising back in 2013 is when I came across this TED talk by Reggie Rivers. And when I first saw the title, I was like, "Hold on a second. If you want to achieve your goals, you need to pay attention and focus on them." what is this person talking about and when i clicked and went through his video it made so much sense to me because conventionally we are taught to focus on our goal but if you think about it simply by focusing on your goal you're not going to be able to achieve your goal what you need to do instead is take a hard look at your behaviors because your behaviors are nothing but habits that you repeat over and over and over in his entire ted talk the key message was essentially he points out that whatever goal it is that you want to achieve for yourself is not in our control the only thing that is in our control is how we behave so whether it is to increase your income to get healthier to have a better relationship whatever goal is that you want to achieve it is not going to help you simply by focusing on the goal what is going to help you however is to focus on the behaviors that you need to take in order to achieve those goals this is because your goal is dependent on so many external factors and the only factor which is directly in your control is you meaning the way you take action toward your goals is the only thing that you can control so it makes sense to invest your energies and control the only factor which is your actions and behaviors your behaviors are nothing but what you do on a daily basis the daily habits that you perform shapes and determines whether you will achieve your goal or not so comment below and let me know if you are aware of the behavior patterns that you may be repeating unknowingly that is not helping you now let's look at some behavior patterns that are simply not helping you move toward your goals number 1 is not giving yourself enough credit if you're already working hard on your goals then you're already succeeding not giving yourself credit not patting yourself enough on your back in my opinion is a single big recipe for attracting stress and negative self talk you're not going to achieve anything if you don't stop and take the time to give yourself credit for what you are already currently doing and even though it might seem like an absurd thing to do you've got to cheer the loudest for yourself not just when things are going great but especially when things are slow because just because things are moving slowly does not mean that you're not making progress so take a moment and acknowledge yourself for all the efforts that you're already putting in The second behavior that you should consider dropping is trying to please everyone else. Please stop if you're already doing it unknowingly because no matter what you do someone will always have a problem and you cannot go around dispensing your energy and trying to please people. It is not good and healthy for your mental health. the only person that you need to please is you in fact it is your duty and obligation to go ahead and take care of yourself of your physical health your emotional well-being and every aspect of you now don't mistake this that you need to be arrogant or aggressive when it comes to being you you can be you without being a jerk about it your goals your way of living your choices 
only need to make sense to one person and that is you. It is exhausting and unnecessary to try and please everyone else with your choices and with your goals. People who matter the most to you will understand and appreciate you for you. If you need to go out of your way to please someone else, that is a huge red flag. And I hope you acknowledge it to yourself. Consider making this behavior change for yourself. Third is wasting time on things that don't matter. Now, when you start working on your goals, everything that you do will either move you toward or away from your goals. So instead of getting frustrated that you aren't seeing the results that you want just yet, first you need to determine if you are actually putting in the work required to get the desired outcome. When you do this, you will be able to see whether you're really making ideal use of your time. Wouldn't you rather just work on the things that you say you really want to achieve? While there's absolutely no harm taking a break, but be a good judge of whether you are actually utilizing your time in the best way possible. When you get super intentional about where and what you're spending your time on, you will be able to judge for yourself whether you are making the best use of your time. Fourth is not defining your success. Now, it is easy to believe that you want the same things as someone else because doing this is so much easier. It won't require deliberation on your part or any energy to figure out what is it that success really means to you and what does it look like. If you don't decide what success looks like to you, you will end up chasing someone else's idea of success and in the long run, neither will it matter to you nor will it be fulfilling. And yes, agreed that it's going to take some time for you to figure out what, what success looks like for you, but it is so much better than chasing someone else's idea. The fifth behavior that you should consider changing is surrounding yourself with people who don't share the same values. So here's the bitter truth. When it comes to pursuing your most ambitious goals, you're going to need to surround yourself with people who care about the same things as you do, which means you're going to have to create some distance between the people who are currently in your life and who do not share the same values. And before you react and tell me how difficult that would be to do, I couldn't agree with you more. Personally, I feel letting go of relationships, especially older ones, is extremely painful. But one lesson that I've learned personally in my life is if you're scared of letting an old relationship go where you have grown apart in values with that person, it is much better to wish them well and send them off on their way rather than to drag on that relationship in any capacity, whether it is a romantic one or a friend relationship and drag that relationship out where you both are not on the same page. It creates room and space for a lot of drama, which you do not require, especially when you're working on your ambitious goals. And even though it's going to hurt like hell, I promise you that in the long run, you will be better for it. And here's the final behavior change that you need to consider dropping or changing, which is not tracking your progress. Without measuring your progress, you really can't make out if you're on track with your goals. So figure out a way, a system that is going to help you measure your progress. Make sure that you keep it simple. You do not want to overwhelm yourself. It could be as simple as writing it down, you know, old school way. If you want further help on how to measure your progress, then don't forget to check out this video later on. And those were some of the key behavior changes that I suggest you make in order to help you with your goals. It is so much better than simply blindly focusing on your goals. Because for things to change, something, in this case, be your behaviors need to change. So that's a wrap on this episode. If you like this episode, show it some love and give it a like. Thank you so much for watching or listening to here on our podcast. Till next time, remember, what you want matters and it's really up to you to make it happen. Take good care of yourself. I will see you soon.